everyone, we are here to talk about how we can assign quizzes within Canvas. Um, quizzes, tests, assessments, all of them fall into this quiz category. It's a great way to go ahead and assess our students' learning. All right, so I am in my modules as always. I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus of whatever module I'm working on. I'm going to go ahead and click on I'm going to assign a quiz or add a quiz. I'm going to create a quiz for right now. We're just going to stick with classic quizzes. I would love to talk to you guys more about new quizzes. It's a great way to do um, EOG like reading quizzes. Hit me up if you want to talk about that. All right, so quiz names going to be basic quiz. That's why I've decided. Doesn't really matter all down there. I've named my quiz. I've clicked classic quizzes. I'm going to click add item. As always, my new items come down here at the bottom. I'm going to be at a basic quiz. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. All right, and here's where I put just my instructions, okay? So this is where we put our student learning target, do the quiz, write better instructions, and moon right now. Do your best. There we go. Awesome. You do all that. Okay. Um, I You can talk about if you want to shuffle the answers. That's great if you have kiddos taking it all around themselves. You can do a time limit. Uh, maybe I'm only going to give them 60 minutes for it. I can let them try it more than one time. Maybe I want them to do two times. You can let them see their quiz responses. You can let them see the correct answers. You cannot let them see the correct answers. Um, and then, of course, you need to go ahead and put a due date. Okay, so those are our uh, details, right? That's where our details are, just the basic stuff. And then when we click into questions, this is where we can actually create that. Quiz. Okay, now, um, if we as a school decide to go ahead and make a school bank, then we could do the fine questions. For right now, we're just going to click on the plus new question. Okay, so this is my first question. We're going to go over the different types of questions. The first one is a multiple choice question. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's a multiple choice question. So maybe I want them to do three plus four, and I'm going to say maybe they would put five, Maybe they would put seven. I'm going to click that green arrow next to whichever one I want that to be the correct one. Maybe they put 10. If you don't want the fourth answer choice, you could delete it. If you want to add another answer choice, you could. All right, once you've put in your um, choices, then you can click update question. Perfect, there we go, question one done. What are our other options? You could also have them do, oh, hold on, I'm just noticing that. There we go, okay. You could also have them do, there we go, true, false. So, um, true, false, I'm trying to think of one. The Scott, no, nope, I don't want to do this, guys. Let's see. Um, a dog is a reptile. All right, I'm going to move this down again. And is that true or false? That is false. So I'm clicking that green arrow. What are these little things down here? Well, this is feedback that you can give the kids. So if they get the correct, the correct answer, you could put like, you go, kiddo. There we go. Sore equals sore, right? That's what's going to show when they get the right one. When you click on the wrong one, maybe you could say um, uh, a reptile is a cold-blooded animal. A dog is a warm blooded animal. Of course, there's more things that go into mammals, but again, you kind of get the gist. You're able to give that feedback. Do I always put feedback in my Canvas quizzes? No, because I got a lot going on and we got a lot to do in a short amount of time, but you totally could. Again, clicking update question when we want that question saved. A couple other question types I want to make you aware of. Um, fill in the blank, which is great. So um, I, uh, I was trying to think about it. Um, there we go. I blank. I'm trying to think about the good one. I don't know. A dog is a, there we go. We'll do. A dog is a what? What's the possible answer? Mammal. Maybe also they put a capital there. There we go. And then they have to fill in that blank. You can also have them fill in multiple blanks. You can have them have multiple answers. Maybe there's more than one correct answer. You can also do matching, which I really like. Um, so match the sum to the um, expression. All right, and so matching left side would be five plus eight and 10 plus two, and they would need to match 13 and 12. You can even do own distractors. Other question types that you can do, 
um, include numerical answer. This is one of my favorite ones to go ahead and do with math. Let's say it's 34 times 2. I uh, want them to be able to put 68. That's the exact answer that they would need to type in. There's not more than one exact answer. So again, they would have to type that in. Um, last question type that I want to highlight is an essay question. So explain your thinking. This is a great one that you might want to make it like a three point question. So that way we could grade it on the three, two, one scale and they could go ahead and type that in right there. Oh, I accidentally put 13 points. When we click save, I want to go ahead and show you. We're going to make sure that we hit publish. So that way when I click on student view, I am able to go ahead and see the quiz. Okay, so we're going to take the quiz. You can see it's all up there. All right, here was our multiple choice question. There we go. Here is our, I'm going to go ahead and answer this one wrong, because remember we programmed that feedback, and maybe a kid wants to flag it. That can let them flag. That's a great test taking strategy. A dog is a mammal. Match the sum to the expression. 5 plus 8 is 13. 10 plus 2 is 12. 34 times 2. I'm going to answer this one wrong. I'm going to say 70. I know it's not actually that. Explain my thinking. My thinking was great. Of course, they would do more than that. We're going to go ahead and click Submit Quiz. Just so we can see what this... Oh, their dad just left, and so Bella is very upset because Daddy just drove away to work. There we go. She's done now. Okay, you can see there that one is right. Nope, still not still set. Hold on, I'm just gonna pause. For a second. I think we're done. This is off tangent, but she watches him drive away every single day. Sorry, she watches me drive away too. There we go. Okay, so I did full. It's very good. I got my uh, feedback. You go, kiddo. A dog is a mammal. I got that one right. Got that all right. Incorrect right here. I did not type in the right answer. And then right here, it's not yet graded. I would get that notification as the teacher that a student has done it. And then I could go ahead and grade it. Hey right, friends, I hope that this was helpful. I absolutely love Canvas quizzes. It's my favorite part about Canvas. Please hit me up if you would like to talk more about it.